Hello again, brothers and sisters. So, excuse if I sound a little off. Today has been a little bit of an emotional day for me, but gotta keep it moving, gotta keep it flowing. Uh, one thing I've noticed before I get started with this, just a quick message, is that Satan is attacking and he's infiltrating and he's coming through people that you deal with regularly. He's coming through, um, you know, coworkers and mostly I've dealt with family and seen people dealing with family, um, especially like spouses and things of that nature. And I've been praying for people that have come to me in regards to these things and Satan doesn't like that. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I've seen in the Christian community so much fighting. So, so evil and sinister. Um, just exposing backgrounds of people from when they were younger. Showing uh, mug shots and real petty stuff. Okay. You know, the past is the past. And if you want to continue to bring up stuff about other people that's that's terrible i'm talking about youtubers that has nothing to do with me <laughs> i don't have a record but um i do want to talk in regards to something the lord revealed to me in the past and there's a lot of stuff i've been holding on to only because i don't want to be like the boy who cried wolf i have learned how to wait on things um, just to ensure that what God is telling me is really God and it's really true, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm going to be going over uh, some paganistic stuff today. I don't want to go deep into detail about it just because uh, I want to keep to, you know, the teachings of Jesus Christ. But it's good to know these things because you know how your enemy works, okay? That's what the key is. You know what to look out for. You know what to watch out for. We don't know our history. So in order to stop the bondage, we need to know the truth. That's why Jesus says the truth will set you free. So, you know, we're coming out of a society, which I'm going to be linking a video below about a lot of things I've spoken about. You want to watch that video, trust me. You want to watch it. Um, there was a video I never uploaded in regards to how each decade had been manipulated mentally. And um, every single decade was something different. You had the, you know, the 90s, 2000s, 80s, 70s. There was something very crucial in these decades that took place. Um, even back to like the black and white times, I, I believe it was the 40s, 50s, don't quote me. Please don't quote me. Um, but I did a study on this and it showed um, back during, uh, you know, Lucy, oh Lucy, I'm home the mentality that they would teach, even, even up until the time of the Brady Bunch, how to conform to what everyone else is doing. And I really wish I would have uploaded this video. So I was like, oh, hey, Timmy, how was your day today? And then it, there was a narrator in the back telling Timmy what he should do and how the mother would wipe the egg off her face before her husband came in. And she had to act like everything was perfect all day long. And she needs to look prim and proper for her husband. No complaining, like nothing. Um, and everyone would sit down at the table for dinner. And the narrator would say, but Timmy, don't tell your dad what happened here. And it was like, basically, the narrator was telling the audience how they should act. Dad just got off of work, so he's gonna be really mad if you tell him you got a bad grade. So, you know, well, 
he ends up being a little down and the dad says to me, how was your day at school? And he tells him, you know, whatever. And the dad is like, um, you start school tomorrow, uh, like, you know, high school. How do you feel? And he's like, listen to me. I'm going to give you the best advice you've ever had, son. He's like, the second that you go to school, sit down and see which table is the cool kid's table. And then when you see what they're doing, mimic them so that you could be a jock in football. And then he just, then this will happen, then this will happen, then this will happen, and then you'll get a great job. Like this is, this is where all narrows down to. Make sure you get in with the cool kids. That's the only thing that matters. And Timmy was into computers, which was not cool at the time. Okay, my oh my, how the tables have turned. So during that era, it was listen to your parents. And the parents, listen to your parents, don't ask questions, do what you're told. And now we're in the rebellion era where obviously they have programmed our children to turn against their parents. And they have polluted children's minds with choices that they clearly have no business making underage okay like use a condom and i mean just giving them the option of of intercourse there's no business of a child doing those things no business okay and uh introducing uh sexuality and and uh, you know LGBTQ and all, all these different types of families, they have destroyed this generation of children. They've tried anyway, and the Lord cut it down. So now the parents are going to be the main teachers of their children, but even the, even the parents are screwed up in the minds. Okay, so the video that I'm linking down below is regarding the way I, I did it throughout the decades, but this man talks about 15 years. It takes 15 years to totally reinvent and reform and shape the minds of each generation, okay? The Gov's goal is to have mindless, soulless workers who do not ask questions, okay? It was in the past. And then they've just introduced, and remember, they're monitoring everything. It's like, having an ant farm and seeing what the ants react to. That is the game that these officials and elites are playing. And ultimately, Satan, okay? Um, he works in the spiritual realm, obviously, but there is also a physical realm and the ideas of man. Um, where they are obviously after their own agenda. Control, power, money, and jealousy. Jealousy also drives man. So they wanna make a clear divide on who's on top and who is beneath them, the peasants, the peasants of modern society. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is good information that I'm bringing to you. Watch the video that I'm linking down below. He explains it wonderfully, wonderfully. I did a more, um, uh, I don't wanna say more elaborate. 
but more, what's the word I'm looking for? More colorful uh, interpretation to what the Lord has shown me. But he is very dry, but blunt. And what what the man is saying before, I've seen, so you're gonna see a, an older video um, of this man talking, and I don't remember where he's from. I don't remember if he's from Russia, Russia or wherever, but I saw his video only in the past. And on this video, it has some type of pastor or preacher talking for, first. But the things that he says, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So I would encourage you to watch it. I'm gonna be, be ah, I'm gonna be back on with another video shortly after. God bless. And if you haven't done so already, I would encourage you to accept Jesus Christ. He's our Lord and Savior. God bless.